astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, who are stuck on the International Space Station, shared a message from space and said that they are not disappointed. They are not disappointed about the extended stay in space. They emphasized that the Starliner mission was a test flight and the issues encountered were normal. They said that handling unexpected challenges is a key aspect of being a NASA astronaut and former Navy test pilot. The astronauts also said that they will miss their families and friends during the extended orbital stay. Williams also described space as a happy place. Let's in fact listen in to the video mes message shared by them. Um, you asked what we meant. And Marsha, same here. You know, it's a very important duty that we have as citizens and uh, looking forward to being able to vote from space, which is pretty cool. Um, you asked what we miss, right? Of course, you know, the things that we always miss, our families. I miss my two dogs. I miss my friends. But you know what? Like Butch said, there are so many people uh, on Earth that are sending us messages, and it, it makes you feel just right at home with everybody when we're able to have those conversations with our friends and family at home. We are being joined by Group Captain Vien Jha. He's a senior scientist. So Group Captain Vien Jha, now the stay that was supposed to be for a couple of weeks has extended and it has now they will uh, come back to India in next year, February 2025. Now, uh, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore has shared a message that they clarify that they are love being in space. Oh, very good morning, Ria. Yes, they have no choice but to love staying in the space because these are the unpredictabilities of the space journey. Uh, they can't come uh, in any way of uh, communication uh, except the very special uh, spacecrafts that are meant for it that can withstand the type of uh, you know, re-entry temperatures. It goes to about 2,000, 2,500 degrees Celsius. So, they need a spacecraft which can withstand all these, uh, uh, you know, uh, adversities of the space travel. Uh, coming back to the original question, uh, they should not be disappointed. Actually, uh, Sunita Williams has stayed in the, uh, has been to the space uh, twice earlier before this particular one. And she has stayed uh, in the space for very long uh, duration. So she is uh, well aware of the adversities of the space uh, travel, uh, living in the space for a long time. She will be taking care of her uh, body. Uh, so is, but uh, um, uh, he also is aware of the space travel. Right now, since nothing else can be done, but to wait as and when the crew dragon of the space X comes, and uh, that will be bringing back uh, uh, some of the crew uh, back, as you have mentioned, in the February. So that is the plan right now. They have no option but to adhere with this. However, in the space station, there is a plenty of job right now for anyone to undertake. There are many of the research uh, activities going on there. Uh, you must uh, uh, know, uh, your, your, uh, we, uh, all viewers must know that in the space station at any given time, uh, dozens of research activities continue going on. So right now for the Sunita Willemum and uh, first, there are jobs to be uh, to do and uh, they are doing that particular job to this their capability, remembering that they have not been trained on ground before travel to the space for those projects, for the research projects. Having said that, now they will be continuing living there, uh, you know, just about two weeks earlier. Uh, space X has already sent uh, the provision, the consumables which are required, like you know, oxygen, water, food, and, and some other uh, space that is required. So those things have already gone there, and uh, supply has reached uh, uh, International Space Station. So these uh, two, along with the other crew who were there, should have no problem. One may again ask you, if this provision was sent from here, why didn't they come back in that uh, uh, capsule? It is to be remembered that the manned spacecraft is entirely different from the, uh, the spacecraft which carries the provisions. They don't have the EC analysis. We call it uh, uh, environmental control and life support system. So uh, those crew dragons, not crew dragons, those dragon capsules are without human occupation capabilities 
and the property. So uh, that has been delivered. And again, I'm sure in another uh, few months, another crew dragon uh, will go there carrying the provisions so that there is no dearth of oxygen. We must remember there is no oxygen. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.